Thank you. Uh, Ms. Van Ark, I think we are just finishing up. I was just talking about the ice bath with you. And again, your text was, let him know that if he tries to sleep at all, he'll get another ice bath sometime before you leave for work and another when I get home. So let's let's break apart that sentence for just a moment if we can. And that was on March 27th. Right, so yeah, about nine days or so before Timothy passes away. Let him know that if he tries to sleep at all, let's start there. This is at three o'clock in the morning. You're saying he is not allowed to go to sleep. Right? Yes, sir. So 3 o'clock in the morning, your 15-year-old child is not allowed to be sleeping. And if he does, he gets an ice bath. Right? Yes, sir. And he'll get another ice bath, i.e., there's already been an ice bath prior to this text being sent. Correct? No, sir. The, that was, it would be one and then another is what it says. Okay. Well, let me read it again and make sure I've, maybe I've misread it. Let him know that if he tries to sleep at all, he'll get another ice bath sometime before you leave for work, and another when I get home. There's two anothers in there, isn't there? Yes, sir. The first another refers to the first ice bath. In other words, there's already been an ice bath, right? I mean, I don't know. It's, I'm not questioning the, the, what's in the text, but I don't know. Okay. And then sometime before, he, before Paul leaves work, he'll get another ice bath, and then another one when you get home. So two ice baths, in addition to the one he's already had, right? If that's what it says. And that's for the crime of sleeping. I don't know what the, uh, the original, whatever happened before that. But you know what it was to, to get him to not do another one, right? Yes, sir. Let him know that's that if he says. tries to sleep at all. That's what it says, yes, sir. Yeah. Might want to toss the ice that is made into some Ziploc bags in the freezer tomorrow for if we need a bunch more. I think that kind of speaks for itself. We'll move on. show you an exchange um, from May 9th, 2022. This is pages 5348, 5348, sorry, 5347. <coughs> Give me just a second. I apologize. <coughs> okay, start at page 5340. And this is from May 9th. I don't think you need to read the top one. That's Paul's message. Go ahead and start reading there. From May 9th, 2022. Um, what is daddling anyway? Um, please make sure Timothy goes into his room with the alarm on when you leave. I should be home not too long after you go, as long as you, as long as you before you go. And please let me know where you put the alarm when you leave. All right, let me stop you right there. This is May 9th. And again, you're referring to an alarm, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. This Go is, ahead. okay. Go ahead. I know what just, that's referring just, to. Let's keep going. Okay. KK, thanks. Uh, YW, you're welcome. Um, I logged out of that for you, but you will not be allowed to have any devices tomorrow before work unless you manage, unless you manage to get everything done I assigned to M standards, which will not be easy. <coughs> not sure what part of Timothy going nowhere but the bathroom without being watched closely but he stole a bunch more of the Easter basket today and hid the wrappers behind the washer and dryer because he obviously wasn't washed as he should have been. Okay, so at that, so at this point on May 9th, you're saying that Timothy needs to be watched if he goes everywhere except for the bathroom, right? He needs to be watched, yes, sir. For committing the crime of what? Uh, we had a combined Easter basket that year, and so I had divvied it out between everybody, and he stole some that was Gabriel uh, Butz cheese and... Uh, I don't know if it was Paul's or mine, but he's, he'd already had his portion of it. So taking candy from an Easter basket means that, that he gets watched and can't have any privacy anywhere except the bathroom, right? Yes, sir. Okay, keep going. Um, then I, it was a star. What part of watching Timothy closely was unclear? Sheesh. Let me stop you right there. What okay. part of watching Timothy was unclear? Why was it that you believed at that point that Paul wasn't watching Timothy? I was correcting. It's the little star. I was correcting what, um, where was it? Usually, if I use the star like that, it was for um, to correct something that Siri messed up or something I messed up. I don't know, I'm not sure. I've only got these messages. I'm not sure. Okay, but but the, the part that you read there said what again? What part of watching Timothy closely was unclear? Sheesh. Okay, so you were upset at that point that Paul wasn't watching Timothy closely enough, correct? Yes, sir. And the only way you would know that Paul wasn't watching Timothy closely enough is if you were also watching Timothy closely enough, correct? 
I don't know at that point. I don't know if somehow I found out about the Easter basket. This is well. This is hold on. <coughs> okay, yeah. This was we must have been at a baseball game. It was 6:20 p.m., 6:43 p.m. So yeah, I must have been watching him from. So you're at a baseball game for G, and and you're watching Timothy, Timothy and yes. Paul to make sure Paul's watching Timothy closely enough. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you remember all this text exchange? No, sir, I don't. You don't remember this at all? No. Okay, go ahead. Keep reading. Okay. Okay, there's no way that was today, Mama. Don't blame me. He that's literally. Paul, right? Yes. I mean, cut you off, but that's Paul, right? Yes, sir. Okay. He literally never had the opportunity to steal anything. I made sure of that. The response to that is? Uh, when he was putting clothes on my bed, he did actually. And watch, it's ye tone with me. Should have been the, not ye. Right. Um, so you knew that Timothy had done something when he was putting clothes away? Yes, right? sir. And the only way the, you would know that is by monitoring the cameras, right? Yes, sir. Um, I never gave him permission to even set foot in your room. I swear he must have done it when I went to the bathroom. Okay, keep going. He's trying to get me in trouble here, this Mom. This is all Paul, right? Yeah, this is okay. Paul. And I told him to go to his room when I did. I brought him downstairs with me so his sneaky butt escaped. I watched him go into his room. And what's your response there? We, uh, I said he never. He said he never asked, but I've mentioned before you need to take him downstairs when you go to the bathroom so he can't escape. All right, yes. Let, let me just, okay. that's, I think we can stop there. You don't remember sending these text messages? No, sir. No memory from this time period? No, sir. Because of all the blackouts, all the tunnel vision, all the PTSD, right? Yes, sir. Okay. He said he never asked, but I've mentioned before you need to take him downstairs when you go to the bathroom so he can't escape. That was what you said, though, right? Yes, sir. You actually used the phrase escape in relation to your 15-year-old child. Apparently, yes, sir. As if he was some prisoner. No, sir. Well, who else needs to escape but a prisoner? I'm withdraw that. May 9th, right? I, it's, yeah, that's what it said. You don't remember that at all? No, sir. When was Mother's Day 2022? I don't remember, honestly. If I told you it was May 8th, would you have reason to doubt that? No, sir, not at all, I believe you. Mr. Johnson was asking you, uh, and you were very eager to tell him about something that you remembered happening on sometime just after Mother's Day, right? Correct. So Timothy got on a scale and weighed 108 pounds. 104. 104 pounds. I'm sorry. I'm glad you corrected me. I wrote it down as 104 pounds, right? It's amazing your memory is that good that you can remember what your son weighed sometime after May 8th, but you can't remember talking about having him escape. Would you care to explain that to the jury? Yes, sir. That happened with the PTSD, with everything else that was going on. I would, especially when I got stressed, it would, the, the tunnel vision, and I mean, I can't, for lack of a better term, blacking out. Um, it, pretty much any time my stress level went up, and it, I mean, it wasn't up that day that, that we did the weigh the dog. So you can't remember all of these text messages about the ice baths and the hot sauce and the zip ties and the handcuffs, but you remember over 18 months ago that your son weighed 108 pounds sometime after Mother's Day of 2022, correct? 104, yes. 104. Sir. You, well, you it was, got it down. You're right. He made, pounds. Well, he made a, a comment that just things like that will stick out to me sometimes. And when when he couldn't pick the dog up, bear in mind this is a service dog in training, so he's he's used to being getting commands. And Timothy, I remember he put his hands on his hips and looked at Sharma and said, "Next time you get to pick me up." And the dog tilted his head like I don't understand that command, and it just that struck me. It sticks in my head. I don't know why, but that sticks in my head. What day was it? I don't know what day of the week it was, sir. It was during the week. But how long after Mother's Day was it then? I don't remember, sir. I know the reason I know it was after Mother's Day is because um, mom, my mother-in-law, for a for probably the last four or five years, as a Mother's Day gift, has given me um, cherry tomato plants and then miniature cucumber plants, and I keep them in like plant bags. I normally have a black thumb, I admit it, but I've managed to keep these um, alive pretty well. Um, and I had just, when we came, when I came upstairs to weigh the dog, I had just gone downstairs and checked on my plants. So the plants were outside then. So I know it was after Mother's Day. I just don't know when. Plants never missed a feeding, then, did they? Objection, Your Honor. What's argumentative about it? She's, she's proud of herself. Plants alive. Plants never missed a feeding. Mr. Roberts, it's a no relevant question. So sustain. 
So your testimony is Timothy weighed 104 pounds sometime after May 9th, correct? Yes, sir. That doesn't look anything like 104 pounds, does it? No, sir. And that's not even a month, that's barely a month after May 9th, isn't it? Yes, sir. I lose weight very quickly. I'm assuming he got that from me. And again, the response to this was give him bread, right? If that's what the text message says, yes, sir. <clears throat> Mr. Johnson asked you about the, uh, some text messages back and forth between you and Paul during the ice bath the last day, the day before Timothy died. Um, and you were observing that ice bath from work, right? I glanced in on it. I wasn't observing the whole time. I, didn't, I couldn't. You weren't observing the entire time? Not the entire time. I glanced in on it. Whenever you'd send a text message, you were also looking at the camera, weren't you? No, I wanted Paul to think I was. And Mr. Johnson asked you if you remember the text about, honestly, tell me if you think this is all fake. Remember that? Vaguely. You vaguely remember that text? Yes, sir. So you can remember the text where it, it, it tries to provide you with a defense to this, but you can't remember any of the horrible things that you did to Timothy. Is that your testimony here today? I don't have any control over what I can remember and what I don't, sir. You recall Paul's testimony yesterday about what he did in response to that photograph that he sent you and about saying we really need to feed him, Mama? I think we actually need to feed him, I believe, is the actual text. Yes, sir. I remember his testimony. And what was his testimony? That he gave him peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I guess he cooked him some eggs. That was the first time you heard about that, wasn't it? Yes, sir. And that was not his instructions, was it? No, sir, but that was fine. I had no problem with that. Well, why did you just tell him to make him some eggs in the first place then? Because I didn't think of it. I was in the middle of something. I think we actually need to start feeding him, and the only thing you can come up with, instead of Paul thinking to give him scrambled eggs, is give him some bread. That's all you could think of. It's, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I was in the middle of something. I wasn't, I wouldn't have thought of eggs anyway, not in the middle of the day. You said that you would, the, the punishments, and I guess this 3 o'clock in the morning one about not letting him sleep or he gets an ice bath, so he's got to be awake at 3 o'clock in the morning. You said that was because he would keep you guys up in the middle of the night or wake you up in the middle of the night? Yes. Yes, sir. Can, and again, you did really well on the logic and reason por reasoning portion of the, the LSAT exam. Can you explain the reasoning behind keeping somebody awake when they're keeping you awake? To show them how it feels. But they're already awake, aren't they? It made sense to me, sir. That's, now that you ask it, but it, it doesn't seem to make sense, but it made sense to me at the time. You didn't actually mean that as punishment, did it? That was just out of spite. You were just angry with Timothy for keeping you awake, weren't you? No, it was meant as a punishment, sir. <laughs> but it's also a punishment for yourself because you have to stay awake as well, don't you? I don't sleep much anyway, but yes, sir. Or Paul has to stay awake, right? Yes, sir. Paul's an insomniac as well. You testified that you gave, Paul, you gave Timothy a warm bath the night before he passed away, that last night, July 5th. Do you recall that? Yes, sir. That was the first time you told anybody connected to this case that you'd done that, isn't it? Yes, sir. You never told the police officers you did that, did you? No, sir. <clears throat> I imagine a warm bath sounds just like, it's just what it sounds like, right? You, you got him, you took him to the bath, you grew a warm bath for him, and you put him in the bathtub, right? Yes, sir. This is hours before he dies, right? Yes, sir. You look like that when you put him in the bathtub? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do we have a trash can? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Would you like the beard removed? Right. Please rise. <coughs>